guys welcome back so today I am playing in the new Tammy and Revolution palette now this palette is the tropical carnival shadow palette it's gorgeous it comes in this nice black matte packaging with gold writing on the back you do have the ingredients as well as the name for the shadows it is cruelty free and vegan so inside you do get a sheet with the names on it and these are the colors that are inside this palette as you guys can see it is absolutely gorgeous very very pretty now this palette has 18 shadows there are seven shimmers and 11 mattes and it's definitely what you would consider a rainbow palette now this is the eye look I created with this palette today. I really like how it turned out. Let's go ahead and just jump into some swatches for this palette. So starting out with the shimmer shades, I noticed when swatching this palette that the shimmers swatched very nicely. They're very, very satin-like and extremely pigmented. Now the matte shadows on the other hand were not very pigmented when I swatched them they were a little bit patchy and the colors weren't as vibrant as I would have expected them to be in the swatches and I really feel like the stars of this palette are the shimmers but this is the whole palette swatched you guys as you can see it's a gorgeous gorgeous palette full of beautiful colors now the black I would say was the shade I was most disappointed with because it's really more of a gray than a black. It's not pigmented at all. So let me just go ahead and clean off my arm <laughs> so we can move on. But this is the palette you guys. This is the look I created. I really like how it turned out. So let's just go ahead and jump right in. So I'm starting out with my MAC soft ochre paint pot on my lid like I always do just to prep it for this look now I want to start out this look using purple today so I'm going to take the shade girlies and I'm just packing that into my outer corner as you can see making sure I get that nice and pigmented in my outer corners and it's a very pretty pigmented color it's not extremely pigmented but it does build up very nicely now I'm going into this navy blue placing that right next to that purple I really want my crease to be kind of dark for this look since I know it's going to be colorful I'm going in with the darkest shades and I'm just placing that blue right next to that purple and blending the edge of it just to make sure that I have a seamless blend in my crease Now I'm going in with this turquoise blue shade and this one is actually, what is this called? I'm sorry you guys, y'all know I'm blind. Definitely. <laughs> this is the color definitely and I'm just blending that into that navy blue. And this color is very, very pretty you guys, but it did take a little bit of building up. Now I'm going into the orange shade and this shade actually took quite a bit of building up for this look now i knew it was going to be a little bit difficult placing it next to that purple but it was a little bit harder to blend and make show up than i thought it would be so i did spend quite a bit of time blending out that orange and trying to make it show up nicely now I'm going into the yellow shade and I am just using that right next to that blue. I know I would get a little bit of green by blending those shadows together so I was fine with that for this rainbow look but you guys it took me forever to build up this yellow. I'm not even going to lie it took me a long time to get the yellow to the pigment that I wanted it to be for this look. Eventually I got there, but it took a long time. <laughs> so I just blended and blended, made sure that 
it was really nicely blended into that orange. As you can see, I had quite a bit of fallout from that yellow and it kind of got <laughs> all over my palette. So I decided to try to go in with the black, place it in my outer corner, and as you can see, it's basically doing nothing. The black is, I don't even know what to say about the black. It's just so disappointing that there's not a really good black in here to really deepen up your look, but I just went in and kept placing it down and trying to blend it out, but as you can see, nothing. <laughs> so. I just went ahead and made sure my outer corners were blended nicely. Now I'm just taking a little bit of my, you know, finishing powder and just blending out the area in between my eyes so that I don't have a hard time when I go to put on my foundation next to that yellow. So now I'm going to cut the crease and I'm using my Revolution Cut Crease Canvas. And I'm just taking that and making sure that I look up to know where my cut should be and just carving out, I would say two thirds of my lid for this cut crease. The first shade I'm going in is this really light, light lime green shade and this is Calypso. And I'm just placing that on a good portion of that cut crease, probably about halfway across and this shade is very pretty it's very very light as you can see you can barely see it but other colors really bring it out and make it pop so now i'm going in with the color greens and placing that right next to calypso blending those two greens together now this green wasn't as dark as i thought it was going to be from looking at it in the palette but it turned out to be a very nice green. It is nicely pigmented, just not as dark as I thought it would be. I really want to just make sure that this cut crease is nice and crisp. So now I'm going into this gorgeous blue shade and this is short knee and I'm placing that on the last portion of my cut crease right next to that green, blending those edges together. Now I really, really like this blue shimmer shade, you guys. It's actually my favorite in the whole palette. It really made all the other colors pop when I placed it down. It's just a gorgeous, gorgeous shimmer shade and it's very pigmented, very nicely pigmented. Now I'm going into that navy blue and I'm just trying to deepen up that outer corner since the black didn't work. As you can see, the navy blue helped a little bit, but not very much. I think it looks really nice next to that purple, but I just didn't get the depth that I was looking for. So now I'm just going in with some of my black Wet n Wild liquid eyeliner and just doing a simple eyeliner today, nothing too crazy. But this is the look so far, you guys. I think it's turning out nice. Now I'm gonna finish my complexion and come back so we can do the rest of the eyes, the lower lash line. So I'm going back into that gorgeous blue since I loved it so much and I'm using that all across my lower lash line. And now I'm going to go back into greens and just place them on the inner portion of my lower lash line just to kind of make that match my cut crease a little bit. I'm using my Essence Mascara today. And for my lips, I'm gonna go in with my Ellery and ColourPop Lip Liner that you guys know I love so much. And I'm just making sure that I neatly line my lips with that. And I'm also gonna top this lip liner with some of my Fenty Gloss Balm. I never remember the name of this one, you guys. This is the original one, um, so I'm just placing it on my lids as well. 
So as you can see, I'm feeling myself with this look, but just my overall thoughts and first impression of this palette, you guys. I feel like Tammy did an excellent job with choosing the colors for this palette. The shadows are very, very pretty. For the most part, the shimmers are extremely vibrant and pigmented. The matte shadows, I think that they build up nicely enough. It's not the most pigmented, colorful palette I've used, but I think it's very pretty. I had some issues with the yellow, the orange, and the black, but I'm definitely going to play around with it a little bit more just to see if I can make them work better in the future. So this is my look for today, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on my next video.